Welcome back to Doug's Top 5. Absolutely the only show on the internet that counts stuff. We guarantee it. In this episode, we count down the top five spacecraft as voted on by you, the viewers. Coming in at number five is Lone Star's Eagle 5 from Spaceballs. The Eagle 5 is a 1986 Winnebago Chieftain 33. It is outfitted with four steel radial Firestone tires, a Hitachi television monitor and relay, a Raspberry radar jamming system, and an iHeart Uranus bumper sticker. It also gets 10 miles to the gallon. Coming in at number four is the TARDIS from the long-running BBC television show Doctor Who. The TARDIS stands for Time and Relative Dimensions in Space. The TARDIS is both a time machine and a spacecraft, and is the fashion in which the Gallifreyans perform interdimensional travel. TARDISes are normally able to alter their physical appearance to blend in with whatever surroundings it may be in. However, the TARDIS the Doctor uses is permanently stuck in the form of a British police call box from the 1960s, given it was an older model in need of repair when the Doctor acquired it. Coming in at number three is The Serenity from the Fox television show Firefly and its follow-up film of the same name. The Serenity is a mid-bulk transport, standard radion and accelerator core, class code 03K64 Firefly. Oh, that's something. I can't even remember all that. It was purchased by Malcolm Reynolds in the aftermath of the Unification Wars, and is the vehicle by which he and his crew earn their living as smugglers. Coming in at number two is the USS Enterprise-E from the Star Trek The Next Generation film franchise. The Enterprise-E was built to replace the Enterprise-D, which was lost during the events of Star Trek Generations. A Sovereign-class starship, the Enterprise-E was the sixth such Starfleet ship to bear the name Enterprise. And before we reveal our number one starship, here are a few honorable mentions. Finally, coming in at number one is the Executor Class Super Star Destroyer from Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. The Executor was the personal ship of Darth Vader and the flagship of his fleet. The Executor is over nine kilometers long and boosts enough firepower to practically destroy a planet by itself. Well, that's been another episode of Doug's Top 5. We hope you enjoyed this look at some of ours and your favorite starships, and we hope you'll join us again next time. Until then, goodbye. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Let us know what you think in the comments section down below. Check out our other videos on the left. And if you would like to receive notifications, click the bell icon. We'll see you next time.